Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So just a quick completion review from everydayedeals.com. Uh, these were actually sent to me last year and I do believe that these were from April last year. So they're over a year old and I have had them completed since January um, and I've just not done the completion review on them for whatever reason. They ended up buried in the bottom of a box somewhere. Oh dear. <laughs> And then I found this one as well, so I thought I'd better get on and uh, do the review on these. Yay! So, uh, we have a lovely little glasses case, which is one of the wah, 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 wah ones, which is great. The little snapshot ones, which I love playing with. And they do fit your normal glasses. These are my glasses uh, that I've sat on and are a bit squished. And, yeah, they'll just fit in. And I just think they're... They're good, these glasses uh, cases. I got quite a few uh, for presents and things for people, literally because um, they keep your glasses nice and safe. There's a good sort of soft lining inside, so there's no scratching or anything. So if you just get that slightly, yeah, you can sort of see inside there. Plenty of room for glasses, um, even sunglasses. And they're that little bit sort of smaller to go in a bag, you know, if you put them in your handbag or your shoulder bag or whatever, uh, so that they're not taking up the bulky space like the hard cases that you get when you buy your glasses. So, yeah, and I just love that turtle scene. Look at that. We've got turtles in the background as well. I'm contemplating just putting little, well, I did think originally putting boggly eyes on the turtles because there's no drills on the uh, eyes. Or I might just put a little black gem there. I think that would possibly look better than just sort of like the white with the little black dot in the middle. Um, oh, and I've lost a gem there, look. One's escaped. That's what happens when you leave them for so long. And are these sealed? Yes, I ha ha have I sealed these? No, I haven't sealed these, so that's why. So I do need to seal these as well. I was waiting to do the review and then I was going to do the sealing and things just seem to have got out of hand. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me just grab one of these drills. Look at my pens. I've been having a play. Look at that. I've put them all in Colorado with the matching squishies. <laughs> this is my little pen holder I've got. It's actually a makeup brush holder, but uh, yeah, repurposed as a pen holder. I think you'll see these in diamond painting uh, listings from quite a few sites. But yeah, and I've even got my coloured tweezers look to match as well. Huh? <laughs> So let me find the one that's actually got some wax in. Don't tell me I haven't got any wax in any of these. Do you know, I don't think I have. I think I've just been so busy playing, I've not put any wax in. I'll have to go for the big one. <laughs> so I just want one little tiny drill out of here. Yeah, it's just one little orange one that's dropped off. And we'll just pop that in there. That's easily rectified. Now, that's what I was saying about when you're doing special drills. I just, once I've opened the packets, put them into the bags. I did used to cut the tags off, but then I was finding it was just a waste of time. But if I didn't know which of the orange colours to use, fortunately, I knew it was going to be that one. Uh, then if these were numbered, that said number seven there, I would have known which drill was number seven because it would have had the number on the bag. And I'm going to be emptying these into other bags anyway, so I would then be able to reuse my numbered bags. So that's my reasoning, as I've said in a previous video, behind keeping my numbered bags. Uh, my keeping my numbered grip seal bags that come in other kits and uh, sort of putting drills, special drills in them so that I know what number they are. Okay, so yeah, that's going to need sealing. I do think I want to put a little eye on that. I haven't got a black there. I'm just wondering, this kit that I've got has actually got the ABs. I wonder if the AB black would look right. Let me have a look. Sorry, just, uh, yeah, bear with me while I just have a bit of a play and see, because I'm not keen on the eyes just being that black colour. Let me just see if I can get into this bag and get this drill. This wax is a bit old, so it's maybe not wanting to play. It's certainly not wanting to pick up these uh, AB drills, that is for sure. All right. right, I'm just going to go in with my fingernail and see if I can scoop one on and put one on. <laughs> They're not wanting to play today. Come on. Come on, come to mum. All right, and we're just going to... Oh, maybe it's going to be... Mm. 
no i think that's going to be too much like that color so i definitely need a black okay so we'll pop that back oops in there look it's now it's come out of its packet it doesn't want to go back in silly little thing okay so let's i'm sure i had some blacks did i take the blacks out i must have taken the blacks out right let me find some little black drills and i will be back okay let me just find a black drill see if the pen will now pick up i think it was maybe the ab it didn't like oh we'll just have to try some more wax right let's just pop that into there some fresh wax okay and we know it's gone in because there's a little hole all the way through there look okay all right now let's try and pick it up so And now let's try the little eye just there. Oops. Now then, is there any sticky there? That's the question. Yeah, that definitely looks better. Yeah, just put in that little uh, black eye there. And I have ordered um, a less than, I think it's a one millimetre. No, I have ordered a one millimetre white pen which is like a liquid paint pen so one millimeter just drop a little tiny white dot there and it'll just give that highlight in the eye the same and I, although this one's smaller i'm still going to do the same eye has that not got any sticky it's got a little bit of sticky if it's not overly sticky you can always just use a bit of sealer or a bit of craft buddy magic glue just to go over the top so we'll just have that onto there oops yeah they definitely look better with the little black drills there for the eyes so yeah pleased i've done that okay and pop those out the way this was all of the drills that were left over so plenty of those in all the different colours so i will colour match those there was no sort of dmc or reference numbers on them so they will just have to be colour matched with all my other drills and then these are the two that you know it's wanting to come with me it's sticking to me these are the other two projects that i did and this was a set of two hangers uh, there were 12 dollars and 99 cents and as i say these came from Gosh, these were July last year, so these aren't quite a year old. <laughs> but they're double-sided and they're hangers, so they're going to swing. Just looking to see. Oh, I've missed a couple of drills there as well. Okay, this is what happens, you see, when you leave things for a few months and then you come back to them and you think, oh my goodness me, but again, these do need sealing. So, yeah, we've got the little hole just right in the centre there to put the hanger through let me put those couple of drills on see if i've missed any more uh, oh there's one there so that could possibly have come off that's where the black uh, bees were on the lady bed but aren't these cute and so sparkly we do like a bit of sparkle so let's uh, just grab that one and put it there okay and i think we could have another one that's possibly moved this is why you need to seal as well if you are going to be doing projects because sealing does just put your drills back in the right place they've got pushed a little bit look so they're just slightly out of line with the rest of the numbers we'll just cover over there so we just need one more little black drill okay and there was lots of colors and gems on these loads to put away so that's brilliant so let's just pop that one onto there like that there are lots and lots of different ones of these like sun catchers and um, hangers uh, mobiles whatever you want to call them you could put them all on one big one and um, if you've got like a circle uh, either a wire circle or whatever and then you could hang quite a few around and it would be really really pretty it would be really pretty or you could hang them all slightly at different lengths uh, but yeah we're gonna have a go at just popping this together let me get my trusty trusty old jewelry tools out that uh, 
yeah i've kept i did do a little bit of jewelry making uh, back in the day so that's a little empty bag we keep empty bags put that wax out the way over there right so we had quite a lot of different uh, gems left over and they're all just standard ones that's a special so put that over there that's a special oh, look at those look how many we've got left there's an extra four and we only needed two and on that one look on the lady bed we only needed two and we got a bag full yay like extra drills all right and they're a slightly larger black okay so they can go into the normal pile over there uh, the silver will go into the pile to go in my silver jar right i just need a little tray to put all my little jump rings in these are like the little circles of wire that uh, fasten everything together and we've got a couple of different sizes so let's see we've got uh, quite a few of each so if any go pinging across the room i've got plenty of spares yay <laughs> So what are we going to do first? Let me just move those drills out of the way over there. So let's see what chains have we got because we do need to have it hanging. Oops. A little bit of a chain hanging there and then we need one hanging uh, from the B so that it can hang up wherever you're going to put it. So that's quite smallish chest so i think that the smaller chains looks like are going to go on the bottom with the little jewel on the bottom and then the longer chains will go on the top oh the jewels move do you know i never knew that the jewels move well goodness me stop it liz fidget toys i'm going to be playing with these for hours <laughs> i do like to twiddle okay so let's get these fastened on first so do we want the big ones do we want the small ones i think these would be better really with some sort of lobster claw clasp on them or a bigger jump ring or something so that you can fasten them somewhere okay so i suppose you've got your two sizes just in case you're not sure on uh, just in case you can't see them properly like me so i want two pairs of players so that's that one and that's that one okay and then we'll try with the smaller ones first so you get your jump ring and as i've said in the past and i will keep saying is when you open a jump ring do it sideways so you pull it apart that way can you see that so you're pulling apart that way you're not pulling it apart that way so that then you can get it back into a circle that little bit easier so that's one tip that i was given and I, it's just stuck with me because i've ruined so many things that i've not been able to uh, then close up and make back into a circle now then, did they give us the bigger ones because these smaller ones don't go through these? I'm sure I have used the smaller ones in the past. So let me just see if I can put this through. Come on. Oops. No, I'm going to have to use a bigger one. So that's what the bigger ones are for. Right. So let's grab that there and that there. And then again, we're going to part it that way. So we'll put it through the jewel first, which makes life that little bit easier. Yep. And then which end are we going to have? We'll have the red, I think. Yeah, we'll have the red next to the uh, black and gold there. I think that looks better. And the purple at the bottom. Okay, so pop that on there. And then I've nearly put that on there then. I don't need to do that, do I? So then grab your tweezers. So you can do it with your fingers, but um, I tend to find that it's just easier if you've got a couple of pairs of pliers uh, just to pop it back together and give it a bit of a squidge. 
Okay, and then if you can, the best thing to do with that sort of little opening is try and put that inside the big gem. And then it makes it fastened at the bottom. So you're not actually then losing your little tag from the top there because the closure is inside there. Right, now we need the smaller one and see whether this will go through the B or not. And if it doesn't, we'll have to use the bigger ones again. And will it stretch across that part of the um, B? Let's see, let's see. To be honest, it would probably have been better to put uh, it through the B first. But anyway, we've done it this way. So. Right, and now we've got our little gap. So let's grab that end there and that end there oops can't see what i'm doing right and just squidge those together okay so now we've got our dangly bit on its bottom okay so now let's do the other big one seeing as we've done one and, uh, yeah they are quite nice as like little sets so uh, there's all sorts of different ones there's some lovely ones look i can't even see where the opening is on this so it's a bit later in the day today that i'm filming whoops so my eyesight is not brilliant it tends to get worse as the day goes on but such is life right so i'm going to leave that red and gold at the top there to match the red and gold on the ladybird Gosh, if that was a ladybird the size of an actual bee, can you imagine? One of them suddenly lands on you. I mean, ladybirds are only really tiny, aren't they? They're like smaller than my fingernail, whereas a bee's more like a size of my thumbnail. So, yeah, big things. Goodness me. Right. So, and we have had quite a few ladybirds out recently as well. I've been uh, seeing them around. Okay. Just get that squidged onto there like that and then we just want another jump ring now i better do a small one again as well because otherwise it will hang at a different length to the other one and i think i am going to put them as like a pair even though one is a huge ladybird and one is a huge bee okay and pop that back over both of those come here Let's pop it over there that's it and pop that like that and squidge those together oops <laughs> <laughs> well at least it closed it oh i've missed I've missed uh, catching one of the holes there, look, but I'm not opening it now. I'll uh, go back and grab that in a, a later moment. Right, so now I just need to put these on. So it really is just a case of deciding which end you want nearest the beat. And in this case, I'm going to put the red and gold again on this one. So I think I'm going to use a bigger jump ring on this one so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. So let me grab my tweezers, find the end. These are so well put together, I can't see where the ends are on them. Let me see. Oh, there it is, look. So that's how well to put, put together these are. Right, so we want the red end there, don't we? Make sure I've got it the right way up. Make sure it goes through both. Okay. And then we're going to hook Ladybird through there. Oops. And we're just going to fasten that on there. Okay. So, oh, I think that looks really pretty. Just come out the way a minute, Mr. B. So, yeah. We've got the red gold. And I mean, that's green. It hasn't got the lemon. But it sort of colour matches a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with that end. Let me have a look in my bits and pieces. Right, this is my little box with all bits and pieces of key rings that I've collected. Um, now that would look quite good. Or I could just put a really big jump ring on it so you could hang it. It'd have to be silver, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got one of those, look. 
they're quite good. These are like the where you pull it apart. So I think if that will go through there, that would be better. And then I hopefully I've got another one. Yes, that's better. Look, so these are like a, a keychain that I've had probably from Amazon or somewhere. Uh, and it just then means that I've got a loop that I can hang it from now rather than just putting a jump ring on it. And it's something I can open and close and fasten as well there, look. So, yeah, so that's that one. Okay, this is why I never throw anything away, you see, because I have bits and pieces of everything everywhere. That's a spring look there. I don't know what that's doing in with my key rings, but anyway, it must have been for something. Uh, that one's another one of those. I want silver, so there's no point in looking at the gold ones. You watch, I won't have another one of these now. That's a, that's, oh yes, oh no, oh that's a different key ring you take one. That's another different key ring. <laughs> oh, that's a brooch clasp, I don't want that in there. I'll be stabbing myself. Uh, no, these are all key ringy type ones. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. Yep, I've got another one. Oh, look at that. As luck would have it, I have got another one. So, that's that one done. I'll just pop those away. And now I can put this one on. And that'll have to go. Let's close that up. That was a, a little accident waiting to happen. Oh, I'm going to get uh, stabbed there with a little brooch clasp. Right. So we want... I'm going to do... Yeah, I'll do the red and gold again so that it matches the same. Well, red and yellow, isn't it? Okay. So we want the big jump ring. I can see where this one opens. I don't need to... Uh, Try opening it and then struggle to find it there. Okay, just pop that one into those there. And I think these are going to hang from my light in my craft room. I've got quite a few dangly things on my light in my craft room now. And I do tend to uh, donk the top of my head every time I walk underneath it. You know, you'd think I'd have learnt by now. Oops, I've donked my head. I won't do that again. Oops, I've donked my head. I won't do that again. <laughs> anyway, never mind. So let's just grab that there and grab that there and push those together. Yay. Okay. So that's that one there. And then we just need our huge key ring jump ring that opens up on its own there. And that just goes there. So if you do want to hang it, say, if, um, like from the light shade, it's like a wire light shade. So I can just open this up, clasp it onto the light shade and close it. And then I've got two very, very pretty little uh, sort of sun catchers, uh, mobiles, danglers, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I think they've come out really well. Let me just put my little jewellery bits away. Let me find my little box. This is a box that I got uh, again. Jewelry making. I've got all these bits I've collected. Oh, goodness. Okay, let me put all those jump rings into that one there. Okay, and we'll put that little brooch fastening in with its friends there and put those away. And then we are done. Okay. So we've uh, just slightly modified our little turtles by putting some eyes on them. We've uh, completed our sun catchers. And as I said, these were from Everyday E-Deals. So huge thank you, Everyday E-Deals, for sending me these. They were part of PR packages last year. So uh, I just thought you'd like to see them completed. Yay! OK, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.